Hello everyone and welcome to Fox Tech. Today we're going to talk about how to add a cursor to your iPad. This feature can be incredibly useful, especially if you're using your iPad with a Bluetooth mouse or trackpad. Let's go through the steps to set it up and customize it to suit your needs. First, it's important to understand that a cursor on an iPad is only needed when you're using an external pointing device. If you're just using the iPad with your fingers, there's no need for a cursor since your finger acts as the pointer. However, when you connect a Bluetooth accessory like a mouse or a trackpad, having a cursor becomes essential for precise control and navigation. To add a cursor, the first step is to connect a Bluetooth mouse or trackpad to your iPad. You can use Apple's Magic Mouse, Magic Trackpad, or any other third-party Bluetooth mouse. To do this, open the Settings app on your iPad and navigate to the Bluetooth section. Make sure your mouse is in pairing mode. This usually involves pressing and holding a button on the mouse until a light starts blinking. Once your mouse is in pairing mode, it should appear in the list of available devices in the Bluetooth settings on your iPad. Tap on the name of your mouse to connect it. Once connected, you should see a cursor appear on your iPad screen. This cursor will behave much like the one on a computer, allowing you to point, click, and interact with your apps and documents. After you have successfully connected your mouse and see the cursor, you can customize its appearance and behavior. To do this, go to the Settings app and navigate to Accessibility, then Touch, and finally, Assistive Touch. Turn on Assistive Touch, then scroll down to find the Pointer Devices option. Here, you can customize the size, color, and other aspects of the cursor to make it more visible and easier to use. You can adjust the cursor's size to make it larger or smaller, depending on your preference. You can also change the color of the cursor outline to make it stand out more against the background of your screen. This level of customization ensures that the cursor works well for your specific needs and preferences. Using a cursor on your iPad can significantly enhance your productivity, especially if you're working with text documents, spreadsheets, or any tasks that require precise control. It makes the iPad experience more similar to using a traditional computer, providing greater flexibility and efficiency. That's all for today's video. I hope you found these tips helpful in setting up and customizing a cursor on your iPad. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Fox Techs for more tech tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.